In this segment, we're going to learn how to work with tooltips. I already got us started by putting a form inside of the HTML page. So let's jump in, see how it works. It's quite easy. Um, so let's just look at the code. So in the code itself, you'll see that what I've added so far, I've, I've cleaned up the files as well. So there's nothing inside of our constructor or our starter file really right now. And all you really have is a small little form. Its action is, is to send our opt-in information to the Zero to Geek website. Our method is going to be post and we're not we're in this course we're not going to dig into how forms actually work so we're assuming that you know how to create forms in this form though what we're doing is we have an input box which is a text box um, and an input box which is a text box as well one we're using as an email and one we're using as a name and this is just so our back end which will be probably in php will be able well in our case and it is going to be in php which we're not going to see at all um, we're going to send this information, so we're basically sending an object that's called data that has a name and has an email property within them. So now that we have our input layers left, what I want to do next is create a new title. Now this title is not going to be visible by default, but we could give a title to let give the users extra information about why do we need their name. We want to know your name so we can talk to you personally. That works for me. So really, this is just to just to indicate to why do we want your name and why do I want your email? So let's say title so we can update you on future releases. So you have your basically just two input fields inside of a form. Now, the only only thing that's left is really we needed that title and the title is really going to be used for that tooltip. Now, literally, the last thing that's left to really activate this tooltip is to basically tell our whatever elements we want to activate and in our case any place that has a title we want to give it a tooltip so to do that we literally all i'm going to do is i'm going to ask for the full document so anything in my document i want to tell it well any component there if you got a title we want you to be a tooltip so i'm going to tell it tool tip not tool top tool tip open close brackets and again if you have options well if you want to customize such as how it looks like or any other any other thing go into the documentation in this in this training we're not going to have the chance to get into every single feature but just go in there and you can see what other options and what other features you could add into the tooltip with that said let's check out our tooltip let's see if it works so i'm going to click on refresh as soon as i roll over my name we should see some information about why we want the name as soon as we roll over the email we'll see some information about the email and we just had created a successful tooltip and this covers our topic of tooltip in the next videos we're going to continue covering other jQuery UI components widgets.